Grade 4 Math, number 58. Compare fractions by using benchmarks. All right, we had discussed earlier what benchmarks were in a previous video. So if you're watching my videos in order, you'll be able to follow along a lot easier than someone who's skipping around. So remember, a benchmark is a known size or amount that helps you understand a different size or amount. Okay? It's a guide to help you figure out how big something is or how small something is. So take a look at this. Bob had to mow a very large lawn. It was as big as two football fields. Now, when you read the first sentence, you think, okay, well, what do, what do they call a very large lawn? Like two houses? The lawn of two houses? But when I say it's as big as two football fields, you say, oh my gosh, that yeah, that is a huge lawn, right? Because the size of the football fields in your head gives you a benchmark for a size, okay? It helps guide you. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use these benchmarks to help us figure out fractions. So let's take a look at what Emma and Tyler are doing. Well, they went on a hike. Emma walked nine-tenths of the trail before sitting to rest. Tala walked five-twelfths of the trail before sitting to rest. Who walked the farthest before resting? Now, my picture is going to tell you right away who it is, but what we're doing is we're cutting the trail into a halfway mark. All right? Half of the nine-tenths is at the five point, right? This is five. This is six, seven, eight, nine. See? And she walked nine-tenths. And when it's cut into twelve, here is the five. Here's six, seven, eight. Okay? So six is the halfway point for the five-twelfths. And five is the halfway point for the nine-tenths. Okay? Half of 10 is 5, half of 12 is 6. Well, if you've got the half of 10 is 5 and you've got 9 of them, you know you're way past the halfway mark, right? The 5 part is halfway and you're at 9. You're way past halfway. Well, half of 12 is 6 and you haven't even touched it yet. You haven't even gotten to 6. So you're not even at the halfway part. See, you could probably do this in your head. So, which went past the halfway mark and which one didn't? Nine-tenths is greater than five-twelfths because it went past the halfway mark and that one didn't. So we know that one's bigger, okay? So we're going to keep using halfway marks to help us figure out which fraction is bigger, okay? Lisa ate nine-sixteenths of a pie and Emma ate seven-eighths of a pie. Who ate more? Half of this sixteen, see? I'm going to do half of the 8. Half of 16 is 8. Half of 8 is 4. Okay? For Lisa to have eaten more than half, she would have had to have eaten more than 8 pieces. Did she? Yeah, she did. She ate 9 of the 16 pieces. Half of 8 is 4. Did Emma eat more than half of the pie? If half is 4, she ate 7. Well, wait a minute. This half of 16 is 8, and Lisa ate 9. That's just like one little jump more than half, isn't it? That's just one little piece more than the halfway mark, that 9. It's just one more than 9. But Emma, the halfway mark was 4, and she ate 7. So guess what? 7 eighths is greater than 9 sixteenths because it's farther past the halfway mark. Take a look at this one. Lisa worked four-tenths of the day. Tala worked ten-eighteenths of the day. So, who worked longer? Who worked more? What's half of ten? Well, half of ten is five. So, Lisa would have had to have worked five-tenths of the day to work half the day. What's half of eighteen? What plus what makes eighteen? Nine. So, half of eighteen is nine. Nine eighteenths would be half the day. Can you see who worked more? She didn't quite work half the day yet. See, she's just under half. She is one over half. So, Tala worked probably another hour or so more than Lisa did. See that? Ten eighteenths is greater than four tenths. All right. So, on these, I want you to keep thinking... Sorry, I want you to keep thinking half. 
okay? So, keep thinking a half. Now, here we already have a half. What's half a six? Three. So, in order for this one to get past the halfway mark, it has to be bigger than a three six. It's at a four six. So, is it bigger than a half? Yeah, because four is bigger than three. So, four six is bigger than a half. Okay, we're going to cut the, de the denominator in half and make that a numerator. Okay, ready? Because we're doing half and three tenths. What's half of ten? Five. So we're going to make it five tenths is the halfway mark. Okay? This one's at three tenths, so it didn't get to the halfway mark, did it? This one's at half, and it did get to half because it is a half. All right, so that one's bigger. All right. Let's do it again. Remember, we're going to split the denominator and make it a numerator, okay, to find the halfway mark. What is half of 12? What plus what makes 12? 6. So, now we put the denominator underneath. What is half of 8? 4. So it's already in a half, see? Is this number past the halfway mark, the 11 twelfths? Because 6 twelfths is halfway. Yeah, it's way past the halfway mark, isn't it? It's at 11 when 6 is half. This one is half. 4 ace is half. So this one is bigger, okay? That one's greater than, all right? Let's try this one. What's half of 8? Split the denominator in half, make it a numerator. Half of 8 is 4. It becomes the halfway mark, 4 ace. Half of 10 is 5. We make that the numerator and put the denominator down, okay? Which one is past the halfway mark? This one hasn't quite reached it. This one is one past, so that one is a larger fraction, okay? Let's try it again. Which one is past the halfway mark? What's half of 6? 3. Now remember, then we put the denominator down, we slide it across, we cut this in half, make it a numerator, and slide that one across, okay, to cut it in half. 3 6 is halfway, and this one is at 1 third. Well, what's bigger? If you're still having trouble, we can split this one, instead of in a half, we could split it into thirds. What could you add together three times to get a six? Two and two and two, right? So we could say that two six is one third of the way. Two six is equal to one third. And this one's at four six. If two six is the same as this and this is at four six, well then we know that that one's bigger. So I split this one into thirds, but generally you want to try doing half, okay? Let's split this number in half. Half of 8 is 4, and we slide the denominator over. Oh, look at that, it is half. 4 ace is half. What's half of 4? 2. And then we slide the denominator over, okay? So that's the halfway mark, and this one's at 3 fourths, and this one is at a half. So this one is a little bit more than half because it's got a 3 and 2 is halfway. So this one is bigger, okay? So if you come across one where the half thing doesn't work, don't use the benchmark method. Use a different method. I'm going to show you some other methods to use. This is just one method to use that you can flash through your head and say, hmm, I need to figure this out. Which method am I going to use? Am I going to use the benchmark method? Yeah, because I can cut these fractions in half. If you can't cut them in half quickly, then you can use one of our other methods that I'm going to teach you, okay? So don't think that this is the only way to do it. This is one method, one way to think. There's so many ways to think, okay? There's so many light bulbs out there. I'll see you next video, and we're going to keep comparing fractions. I'll show you another way. I'll show you another way how. Bye.